In this video, you're going to learn a few easily overlooked techniques to turn your Twitter tweets into a flood of traffic to your web pages and blogs. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Now, another technique you might want to consider in driving additional traffic to your Twitter page and, of course, uh, hopefully increasing the number of followers, which, of course, will hopefully increase the number of visitors to your URL, is to post quality comments, not spamming, but quality comments on other people's blogs referring to that particular post on their blog. For example, if you were to, uh, using my demo site blog as an example, if you were to go here and let's say this was a quality post, then you can click here on comments. And of course it varies from site to site, but it, the bottom line though is if you were to post a comment on somebody's blog. You come on down here and some have a few extra hoops for you to jump through to be able to post a comment on their blog. Some do not. Again, the key here is to post a comment on their blog. And I have a quality content too, not just some spam. Hey, great post. Of course, that'll do the job, but if I were visiting that particular blog and was reading those comments, would I be really interested in that particular comment enough to further my investigation to see, you know, maybe go to that person's URL, which sometimes is posted, or just go on to the next comment? Chances are I go on to the next comment because that one was kind of lame. So make a concerted effort to put some quality into your comments that you're posting. Spend a little time on it. It will pay off major dividends. So as you can see, and in most cases this is the case, they require your name, uh, email, which in uh, most all cases will not be published. It is just required so they can send updates to you saying that, hey, somebody has uh, commented on your comment or here's some more comments after your comment and so on. And then, of course, the URL to your website. Now, here, I would put the URL to my website. That's just me. And the gist behind this particular video is that within your comment on your SIG line, in other words, after you say what a great com uh, what a great post this was and how informative it was and how it might better your life as a result of reading it, yada, 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 then put sincerely your name or however you sign off on your uh, correspondence and then something to the effect of follow me on Twitter. Simple and gets the point across. And then, for example, or regards or whatever you want to put in as your salutation and then something to that effect. Now, there are some other thoughts out there as far as tracking this. So in the instead of putting the direct link to your Twitter page that you would use some type of a tracking link and a good one is and there's a bunch of them out there and more and more each and every day uh, but a good one is bud URL not only does this shrink the URL and of course this URL really doesn't need to be shrunk but you get the idea it's a way in which you can track the number of clicks and the reasoning behind the idea of tracking the clicks is to see where you are getting a lot of those uh, clicks from. And if you see that you're getting a lot of clicks from this particular blog versus that particular website or forum, then you want to concentrate more of your marketing efforts on that particular blog that's getting a lot of clicks. You know, go back there, read more posts, comment more, and you get the idea. Now, that being said, there are some folks that have that train of thought and I can't explain why I'm not a psychologist, but whenever they see something that is not an exact URL or a absolute URL, that it is more of an obvious tracking URL, then it may raise a red flag, in which case they may not click on it at all. So then you're kind of wasting your efforts in there, even putting that link in there. So you kind of have to weigh that out. Would you want to lose the possibility of getting a click at all by putting a tracking URL in there or would you want to just do this in hopes you're going to get a because I mean that's the main goal the underlying goal is to get additional eyes and traffic to your Twitter page correct if that's the case then that should be the main goal you concentrate on secondarily if there's some other like Google Analytics or some other type of uh, service you can employ to track the whereabouts of those folks coming to your Twitter page, then you might want to consider that as an after effect. 
myself I would not use the tracking URL I would just use this because I would feel more comfortable if I were to come across a uh, blog comment and I saw this that hey I know twitter.com that's that uh, micro blog place that everybody's talking about bam I'm on it otherwise you would if you were to see follow me on Twitter and you see a something like a bud URL.com, blah, 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 then what the heck is this, you know? In this day and age of spam mentality, that could be what one might think, in which case you're not going to get them to click on this link. So consider that in determining whether or not you're going to use a tracking URL or just the absolute URL. Now, this covers basically the posting of your comments on a blog. Now then, let's go ahead and consider the possibility of targeting our efforts a little bit more commenting on blogs that are within our niche. In my case, or as in the case of this video, we're talking about gardening, you know, hot pepper pickers and the, and the like. So there are places that you can go, for example, Google, and do a search for blogsearch.google.com or blogcatalog.com. We'll just take a look at those real quick here. blogsearch.google.com and you can just type in here we'll just go there and you can just type in here gardening for example it's kind of broad but still it's up our alley and then search blogs so you can see here and then you can just go down through here and just click on these read a couple of posts, comment on a few posts, and that's going to generate some traffic your way. Now, searching for niche-related blogs is one way. Another thing to consider is a do-follow link blog. In other words, those blogs that have a do-follow link policy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, some blogs have it set in their guts, if you will, their um, their makeup, that any link that is on their blog, especially from commenting, is a no-follow link. In other words, search bots from um, search engines, once they get to that link, they're not going to follow it back to its origin. So a lot of folks nowadays that realize that, that could be why they are not commenting regularly on blog posts. But there is a way in which we can find these out, these, these particular do-follow blogs. Let's go ahead and do a search for do follow and see what comes up. Do follow blog comment poster. Do follow top sites list. All sites. Okay? Find do follow blogs. You get the idea. With no, no follow help you rank. And this is what's going to assist you not just in getting traffic back to your Twitter page because they click on your link but also some search engine bot backlink type Google juice is going to be flowing your way via these do follow links that you are going to be posting on these blogs because some blog posts as we've mentioned they have the no follow policy so in those cases you're only going to get traffic from those that click on your link or that highlight and copy that link and post it on their browser which is fine and that's that's a lot in and of itself but if you add to that the assistance from search engine bots that actually track through and follow back that link to your Twitter page that's also going to assist you in getting more uh, search results or, or more traffic via search results so having comments posted on do follow blogs is going to help you immensely much more than those that have a no follow but again even those that have a no follow policy will still assist you so first off check those that have a do follow policy and if you have any that are within your niche then you're just doing that much better so don't forget the power of the do follow policies and by all means, don't blow off those that have the no-follow policies because those have their, their place in our marketing niche as well. But try those that have the do-follow policy first and foremost. Try also those that are within your niche. And in either case, post 
quality comments on these blogs and you will be surprised at the amount of additional flow to your Twitter page you're going to get as a result. Thank you much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.